Situation on the front lines as of February 18, 2023. On the border with Belarus, no changes. On the Svatov direction, enemy attacks from Plashenka and in the forests of Kremina. The fighting continues. On the Bakhmut direction, Katsaps managed to break through the defense south of Periskovivka, trying to drive a wedge between Yahidny and Berkhivka. They are also trying to advance to Dubov Vasilivka. In the city itself, most attacks are repelled, but not all. The map shows updates on Bakhmut for the last seven days. From the south, the enemy broke its teeth near the highway, so now they are attacking the Mariupol Cemetery with the aim of reaching the well-known airplane. On the Avdivka direction, enemy continues to attack along the Krasnohorivka Vassel line, the situation is still stalemate. On the Zaporizhia direction, no changes. On the Tavria direction, no changes. Analytical note. Today brought negative changes in the north of Bakhmut. The enemy is using tactics of concentration in windbreaks and bypassing settlements, because under the threat of complete encirclement our troops have to leave the villages. This has been the case almost everywhere since the loss of Soledar. Of course, it looks unpleasant on the map, but it saves the lives of our defenders. And all the cries of Moscow roosters about boilers and cauldrons remain only their wet fantasies. The situation is difficult. The enemy reserves are being pulled up because the F asterisk asterisk asteriskers have an order to capture Bakhmut by February 24. We would like to mention the defenders of the southern face of the Bakhmut salient who have already accomplished a feat. Now we are facing very difficult times, and the main thing is to adequately perceive everything that is happening, and not through the prism hooray public groups that form a false picture of the events.